Hello there, this is uh, Phil from Phil's Art. Thanks for tuning in. I've had a commission to paint a painting of Rorg Strift. Now, um, that's what I've come up with. That's just a watercolour, just a rough watercolour. And I've got the individual people, the British Army there, the, the fire on one of the buildings at Rorg Strift. That's what I've come up with. And I've sent it off to the chap that um, wanted me to make a commission. And um, But he said that he'd like more Zulu warriors in the painting. So I said, that's okay. Well, I've, I've looked at some of the paintings from the, Elizabeth, the Victorian period. Uh, there's Elizabeth Butler, a great artist, painting military scenes battles. I think eventually she came to be known as Lady Butler. And then of course there is the French um, painter Alphonse de Navelle, a Frenchman, and his paintings are incredibly fantastic really. And I've, um, I've used different, I've used the film as well, Rourke's Drift and um, the, the one is it Zulu Dawn and I've got some several pictures and I'll, uh, of, 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 from the internet to, to give me an idea I suppose really of, um, of, of what, what sort of characters the, the Zulu warriors and the shape of the person with the uniform as he's fighting if you like and so that's what uh, I've used and that this has helped me quite a lot. Anyway, I've come up with this one. Um, what I've what the, the, the what the, what um, the painting is quite a big painting, and I'm going to show you the painting, and you, you won't be able to see the whole of it because it's, it's quite a big painting, or it will be. But I've just thought that I would uh, introduce, show you this, show you this one. This is what I come up with. But as I say, the the chap wants more Zulus in, so um, I've. So there is the there is the painting, the beginning of the painting. I don't know whether you can see. I'm just moving this a little bit. See there, I've put the roughly the the the, the people on the painting. Um, I've roughly drawn them out. The painting is uh, stretched canvas, um, and it's white. But I have given it. Sorry about that, I've hit the camera. I've given it a, a coat, oh, and again, I've given it a coat of this gala, and it's a pale umber, and it's a, a nice, uh, natural, warm colour. Um, because when you do a, a, a painting, it will be in acrylic, there will be very little of the white, paper, white left anyway, it'll all be covered over. So it's giving this a, an undercoat or a primer is a good thing to do so I've given it a, a, a primer and uh, I'll start painting so I thought I'd introduce that to you where the, my painting at the moment it's just very roughly drawn out you can see that figure oh I'm sorry about that keep on hitting this um, so the, you can see the, the, the guy there with the bayonet running forward. What I think I will do is I'm going to bring some of these closer, so I'm probably going to redraw some of these. At the other end, which you can just about see, there is a Zulu there, which I've, I've added, and I've put a man on and kneeling down with facing the rifle there on that one. Anyway, so I've, I've introduced this painting to you because it's going to be a big painting for me to do and I thought that what we'll do is we'll um, I'll do it in stages and I'll come back again when I have painted the figures where I think they really need to go as I say I think this lot needs to come over forward and I will I will do that so um, um, I'll see you again thank you for coming and, and looking at Phil's art again as I say, I think it's going to be an interesting painting and it, it, it'd be interesting to, to show you how I go about painting a big painting in acrylics of this war scene of, of, um, of the British Army facing 
or fighting against the Zulus during the Victorian period of time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again um, when I've completed this a little bit more to give you more, some more idea. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Hiya. Uh, um, welcome back. It's Phil with us again. So uh, we're looking now at Rourke's Drift. If you remember this was the painting which um, I'd sent to my client and he accepted it but he wanted more Zulus. I've kept two of that really fairly close um, and so what I have done now is blacked the figures in. I've used I'm using these paints interactive acrylic and I've used um, lamp black and I've used this one which is more like a lemon yellow to be honest um, there you go lamp black um, I don't really but it's a uh, Arido I think they, they pronounce that yellow light but it's very similar to um, lemon yellow really and that produces a very, sort of a darkish green it's almost black to be honest with you but you can see the figures um, and so I'm going to keep to this I'm not happy with that figure there I don't like that probably I will alter the alter his his um, his feet um, that's that's not too bad there maybe um, and then the Zulu warrior here I'll just move it slightly so you can see that better a bit more okay there's Zulu warrior um, I'll have to think about that. I'd like to um, make him a little bit more with a spear or something, but there you go. I've also added this figure here because I produced a, in the original watercolor that I was going to do. There was no, um, there was no um, Zulu at all, but the client wanted a Zulu, and so I've added it there. And I've also put more Zulus along the top there along there and along there so that's basically it um, so that's now what I'm going to do now is put a wash and uh, colour the sky, the mountains etc and then uh, put a, a rough painting of all the figures to see what it looks like and then when I've done that I'll be back and um, you can have a look how far I've got. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully this will be a help to you because this is going to be a biggish painting and there's an awful lot of work involved in the figures. And so um, I will... Uh, it'll be interesting, I believe, um, for many people to see how I've tattled the figures because they're, they're, there's a, it's a massive... Of, um, of, of figures and they've got to be painted well and they've got to be painted right okay so um, I'll uh, speak to you later don't forget to sub subscribe and um, keep on painting cheers Phil okay uh, Phil Willits again welcome back I've just started the painting as you can see I've left the figures uh, put sky, the mountains in the background and the, the sort of dust and what have you the beginning of the house that's on fire or the, I think it was a hospital I believe uh, that was actually on fire and also I've just painted roughly the, the ground and the next stage of the operation is to start to paint to the figures as I say I'm not happy, too happy about that one uh, the legs are anyway we'll have to work on that but anyway that's as far as uh, as far as I've got that's sort of a, a dust cloud and hope and there's the two I'll put some Zulus there and just up that corner there's some more Zulus actually in fact I'll drag this over and you can see it yeah that's it there's some more Zulus and then there's that, that Zulu coming through there so um, basically that's it, 
So we'll, uh, we'll carry on and I'll come back when I've started to paint some of the figures. I'll probably paint the figures and I do, when I do, when I paint figures personally I like to put nearly, to get them nearly completed um, so they know where I am. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll carry on and uh, thanks for looking in. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, see you later. Cheers, Phil. Hello there, um, Phil Willits back again with the painting of um, Rourke's Drift. I have painted the middle section of the soldiers as you can see. Uh, there is the, the original watercolour that I was going to use. I'm going to alter that section there. And if you remember, we, I just decided to put a, a Zulu there. The, the client wanted some more Zulus. But that's the first stage there in the middle. These are pretty well complete. The next stage is to carry on with that section there and there. Funny enough, that man there is actually the guy in control. Um, I think he was a le lieutenant or lieutenant. But anyway, I'll come back to, to, to his name. I should have written it down, but uh, that is actually the picture, of the, the true picture, that's what he looked like, the man in, in control, the, the one that came to build the bridge originally. Anyway, so that's we've got we've got to so far. And as I say, the next stage is that, and then finally that. And then I will have to put more Zulus on, on the background. So, okay, so um, what I'll do is I'll get this closer maybe you can see it a bit easier there we go that's what it looks like the the first section okay so we so we're coming on but there's an awful lot of work involved in getting the uniforms right so um, I'll uh, see you later when I'm when I've done that area there okay uh, See you later. Cheers. Hello there. Uh, Phil Willits back again. Um, as you can see, we've progressed. I've done... Um, we started painting that section. I've now finished this section here. Um, I've also added another figure there. A different figure from what I was going to put if you can have a have a look if you remember I, I was going to lean him over the other way I've I've changed my mind I, I put him on there like that um, but apart from that I think everything else is pretty well the same uh, we've I've still got the Zulus to, to put in there and also the Zulus there the guy there is the um, Royal Engineer that was actually in charge and he was Lieutenant John Chard. I thought he was a Lieutenant but I wasn't uh, um, sure. He actually ended up his army career as a, as a Colonel. The second one in charge, I'm going to put this one here pointing, pointing and that is uh, Lieutenant Bromhead. Bromhead. Um, gone Gone, Gonville Brom, Bromhead, I think. He was the, sort of the aristocratical sort of person. I think his, his parents and grandparents um, were all military people. So that's, um, that's where I've got to. That is, I, did, I was going to put a helmet there. I don't know what to do about that. I think I'm going to leave that and maybe put the helmet further on down or maybe here. Um, we've got a Zulu... You can just see his shield. I'll I'll I'll, I'll uh, slide it across a bit so you can see a bit more. Okay, that's it. So the the um, the Zulu there and General. So what I'm going to do now is concentrate probably on this figure here. And then, and then some fit, and the other one there, and then we'll have a look, look at that. Okay, so I'll um, 
I'll carry on and I'll speak to you and see you later. Cheers, Phil. Okay, Phil Willits again. Now, as you can see, I've completed all the soldiers. Um, the kneeling down one, that one there, that's the second guy in command. Uh, and obviously the idea is that he's pointing his finger at a, a break-in, which I'm going to put, that'll, that'll be Zulu there, you can just about see him. Um, I've put those two figures there. I've altered those two figures. There's the original watercolour that I sent my client. I, I had, there were two figures like that, I don't know whether you can see them. Uh, there they are. So I've altered those two figures. I've put that one facing them because I, uh, the next stage of the operation is painting all the Zulus there and also in the distance here. The fire, that's, that is the, the you, although you can't really see much of it, that is the hospital that was set on fire and so there's going to be flames as, as you can see on the, on the original um, watercolour. So there's going to be flames there. So there's the flames here. Uh, I probably will. You can't. The mountains you won't be able to see them, but I, I may um, make them uh, put the smoke along there as well. And um, so my the next stage of the operation is to paint is painting the Zulus here. Probably some in the background there as well, way in the distance. Um, I'll I'll move move it over. Okay, so you can see that there's going to be a Zulu there, and some more Zulus there. Now, whether I put another soldier here in the background, I I haven't decided yet. But anyway, the main, main soldiers are painted, the main figures. It's quite surprising actually how you have to be careful to get the proportions right. Normally the head goes into the into the body round about six and a half to seven times and you have to sort of do that. But it's quite surprising how you make sure that you get the legs the, the right length. I think I've I think I've got them fairly accurately now. And also the hands, it's surprising how big a hand actually is. So you have to sort of work that out as well. Anyway. Um, so that's the, the, the that's the, the final stage in one sense now of all the soldiers being done. Obviously, I'll just have to check it when the, when I finish the whole painting. I shall leave it for a bit and have another look at it. But anyway, uh, um, so that's that's as far as I've got. Uh, I'm and ne the next stage of the operation is painting the Zulus. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you a bit later on. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I'll sh to show you the finished painting. Okay, cheers. Hello there. Uh, Phil Willits again. Now, I've painted all the soldiers now. I've also painted the Zulus. Now, I'll show you. I've, my client wanted uh, uh, some more Zulus in. I, so I put quite a few in the top there. And then I put the main Zulu character there and there's one just behind him there. It's quite at the end, if you like, of the painting. Um, I've also put a helmet there. Uh, I've also put another soldier there. When I, I put Zulus all in there and I thought to myself, it looks to me as if they're going to break through and overwhelm everybody here which I presume from time to time they actually did break through, but obviously with a bayonet charge and um, the Martini Henry rifle, which can uh, shoot quite fast, um, they, would be, they would be driven back. So that's that section there. I, 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 um, I, I'm quite pleased with that. That was quite a tricky painting to do, the, the Zulu warrior. And uh, I, But I... I it's difficult really because I didn't want to put Zulu warriors coming through to here. I wanted to keep um, the main body of, of, of soldiers there. I put him, he's a different regiment there. Um, so basically that's it. I've just dry, 
uh, bring the painting across to then you can see the, the other parts of it. Okay, so uh, again, we, you've seen that I've done that. I've I put the uh, the strap on there. I've also put bits of paper here, and there's there's another piece there. You can't really see that it's just over there, because the cartridges were wrapped up. I, I believe in five bundles, and then the paint then they had to be on un, unwrapped and put in their bags, so they would just throw the paper on the floor. So that basically is is it really. Um, the second in command was Lieutenant Bromhead, which is that one there. And the first one was Lieutenant Chard, and that's him there. And that actually is what he looks like, or what he looked like. And that's actually what also um, Bromhead looked like. So um, that basically is, is it. There's the gunfire smoke there. The disadvantage with putting Zulus in, there would have been a gunfire smoke and I don't think you'd have seen them so clearly as that. But uh, my client wanted um, uh, Zulus, more prominent Zulus, so that's what, I've, that's, that's what I've had to do. So that's basically it. It's, it's pretty well finished apart from the fire which of the of the of the cabin and I'll just lift that up so you can probably see that a little bit better okay so as, as you can see I've just roughed that in but there's going to be a fire I'll show you the original watercolor that I made that I painted a fire there and that's the hospital uh, a light so that I've got to do that Regarding the front part, and I'll just bring the camera down again for you to see the, the bottom part. Okay, I'll put the helmet there, and there's going to be one or two stones here. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do here. Um, I'll have to chew that over. I think that character there, he's got his legs bent as he's running through. Uh, I'm fairly sure I've got it accurate, the head, so many times in the head, but that leg does look a little small or a little short. Maybe I shouldn't say that now, uh, but I can, I'm, I can lengthen it. I may, I'll, after when I've finished the painting, I'll have a look at it, and, I, and if I do think that it needs to be lengthened with acrylic, it's quite easy to do that. But I'll see, when the painting actually is finished, it might be okay. But I've actually checked that character out and the actual he is it, it, the, for the head and for everything it actually is in all proportion but obviously he's got his leg his knee bent and he's running uh, towards where the Zulus have broke through that part and that's the guy um, that he is actually um, telling that they, they need reinforcements Bromhead Lieutenant Bromhead telling them that they need reinforcements so that basically is it. Um, so when I've when I've decided on the fire, and decided on this section here, um, I'll um, I'll do the, the the final recording, and you can have a look at it, and I'll show you in more detail what more of the soldiers, etc. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this has been beneficial to you. It's a it's a complicated painting. And it's difficult because you've got to get the uniforms right as far as you can, as far as I can, and also I've got to get the proportions of the soldiers and the and the proportions of the uh, the the uh, men correct as well. I'll just push it back a little bit. I had difficulty, to be honest, in painting the feet. I've got it. I've got them right now, um, but I had a bit of difficulty, and, and that's a, a, an important point, really. When you paint anything, if you're not quite sure, do some sketches of it, and then have a go at, at putting them in, and, and that's what I did. But I had a job in getting the feet uh, correct with with this Zulu. You don't really see much many bare feet, if you like. <laughs> 
Uh, it's usually with boots, and, and boots are easier to paint than, than, than bare feet. Anyway, so that's basically it. Um, and as you can see, the Zulu is coming round there and going round there. Um, so, OK, I'll switch off now, and I hope this has, as I say, been beneficial to you. And um, I'll um, finish the painting, and then you can, I'll record it, and you can have a look and see what you think. Okie dokie, well thanks for um, looking at my video and I hope this is entertaining and been, done, been some good to you. Um, so I'll see you later. Cheers, Phil. Hello there, uh, Phil Willits here again. As you can see I have put the fire in at the top there really blazing and um, I thought about that I thought if I was under that fire I'd certainly want one of the helmets to protect my head from the bits and pieces that are coming from that fire so now I've painted that I've also altered the shield I'll, be, I'll show you is that enough? yes I've also altered the shield I've, I've darkened the shield a little bit which I think it makes makes it a lot better and I've also put the Zulus um, or finished the Zulus around there uh, with the smoke and what have you and all the excitement and fear of, uh, of such a battle as this. Now to finish off and I'm just going to hold this and pin the camera down a little bit to finish off I've decided to put some sacks here and maybe a, a spear here and some more sacks there just to finish off. Um, I do believe that the, the sacks that may produce the wall here were some grain uh, from the mission hall and so that's what I thought. I have also put some bits of paper on the floor I don't know whether I mentioned that before, and that was, I believe the cartridges were wrapped in bundles of five in a, in, a, in a paper. And of course, in a war situation, you'd remove that paper and just throw it on the floor. Um, I've also altered that a little bit. I've put a, a crease in the trousers, which makes it look a lot better. I have again checked the height, and it is right for the height, so I'm not going to touch touch the legs there. I think that's okay. So that's the, the last stage is going to be painting the sacks etc just on the bottom and then we'll uh, I'll show you what the whole picture looks like. Um, so okay so I'll carry on and uh, I'll speak to you later. Thanks for watching. Okay um, Phil Willits back here again um, okay, as you can see, I finished the painting. Those are the, the two sacks I put in. I put a few stones here. I'll bring it over here so you can see this section here. I don't know whether you can see. I've put a spear there and bits and pieces, and also the uh, the stones and what have you there. I'll bring it down a bit. Okay, so that's the finished painting. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and show you the full painting. Um, so I'll switch off and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you and I'll try and do it by hand. Right, I thought I'd let you see the full painting. Um, I varnished it. I don't know whether you can see that. It, the light is hitting it a little bit. So I've just got a stick here. There you can see it's just the light is hitting it, hitting that a little bit, which is un unfortunate. But uh, I just want you to to see the f the actual finished painting, what it looks like. I think that's just reflecting a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing much I can do about that. But anyway, I'm going to now um, make it bigger 
and I've got it on a tripod this time so hopefully it will stay put as I accelerate it. Okay, as you can see uh, it's not particularly wonderful uh, and, the, and the uniforms aren't quite, they're a lot redder than that but you can see the uh, the detail I'll get it a bit, bit bigger and I'll just get that a little bit higher of the different troops, different soldiers I'll bring that around that other, other chap there those there that one there, those are uh, the colonials. I've got, bring that round, I'll bring that down, I'll get that a little bit less. That's the actual um, police, I believe, that were actually there. So I've, I've left one of those in the, in the um, painting. There's the Zulu um, up that corner there that I've got there. I'll back it a little bit now and we'll go around to the other side there, those two there and I'll uh, I also did the um, that the um, dead Zulu or one stunned Zulu there there's the the other section there at the back uh, a lot of commotions going on there so I'll bring it back again so you can see what you can what it's like uh, that's it I'll bring that down a little bit there and you can also see the the maize bags that I put in along along the bottom there anyway um, that's the finished painting um, Sorry about the light that's reflecting there, but there's not a lot I can do do about that. But you can you can see what the painting's like and uh, uh, what I've been doing about it. And uh, if anybody out there would like me to paint any commissions, um, get in touch with me. And um, thank you for watching this video. Hope you've found it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you later. Cheers, Phil.